Hello all, this is D Swike, and I am looking at my Stellaris setup. Um, as you can see, I have both DLCs that they have released, and I'm looking at the mods. One thing I had to do was go through, and actually some of these didn't get fully deleted like I requested, but I was having some issues downloading uh, some of the mods. Okay, that one is good. That one's good. But, yeah, okay. The trait codex that I had was not even compatible with, uh, 3.1. So it might still be compatible. So, um, let me turn that off and hit play. Uh... 3.0, yeah, it wasn't compatible with 3.0 when I first tried this. And I had to go through and go into the the hard location for the mods and delete... I thought I deleted everything in the folder, but it appears I didn't because there appears to be three or four mods that I didn't remove. I unsubscribed to everything. And then had to go in and remove them, so... Yeah. Uh, but, I'm getting ready for the new Empire of the Eternal Wheel. Okay. This is the one that's modded. Now, I can talk about some of the mods here. And some of the ones we've already seen before. Um, like the, the ISB, I had some that were requests for the, using the living system. Um, I like using the Majoran, uh, race portraits, which are basically humans, but with white hair and red eyes. Um, that has this vampire thing going, but I'm not using it that way. I'm using it, uh kind of for the uh, the background for the race it makes sense because of some of the other mods that I'm using so we're sticking with the Arundel name uh, we have our ship list which I like this uh, leader names that's good planet names and fleet names I like all that now we get to our traits and yay, our traits are working. So, uh, let's pull these back so we can sit, pick 12 of them. Draksha's Fury. That is, what, 10,000 years? Um, which I kind of want. Because the idea behind the why I went with this is that, and I'll get to a little more in a, in a bit, but, uh, ooh, happiness increase, bioelectric entombment, that increases a lot of cash, uh, elemental manipulator, I like that one, uh, well, slow breeders, Slow learners, that's not that painful because our, uh, uh, the, uh, 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 one I'm looking at grabbing gives us a huge, uh, uh, bonus. Auspicious. Okay, they did a lot of loot, getting rid of things. That one's not too bad, considering what I'm looking for. Unfortunately, I have to get four points in one point. So, I'm still having to figure this one out a little bit. Uh, I may look at something that gives us some... Yeah, that that's fine. Because I'm... That gets me up to six. Aggression by fire. 
that decreases happiness and other species happiness by 20%. Ooh, I don't want that much. 15% is fine enough. Uh, fragmented mind. Genetic destruction. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, uh, elemental manipulator. Incompetence. Ugh. Infertile. That one works. And we can get Dragsha's Ferocity. Which, its happiness should override uh, some of the other negatives. Okay. I'd actually like to figure out a way to get rid of belligerent, but I don't think I will be able to. Uh, I've got one point trait left, but... Uh, I'm not seeing anything worth it. So basically I have three fairly bad negatives, but some pretty good positives. Uh, infertile means I'm not going to grow, the growth rate of my people aren't, isn't that fast, but Drexia's Fury keeps my happiness level up, leader lifespan increase, army health, things like that. Um, we have Adria Bianchi is the, uh, leader, high emperor, I need to change that to empress, except I'm not sure how I spell that, so let me look it up on the magic device known as my telephone, because once I figure out empress, E-M-P... E, no, E M P R E E M P that that doesn't look right. E M P O that's why it doesn't look like right. There we go. I'm not... And isn't that how you spell princess? I, I'm horrible at spelling. Two S's. Okay. Uh... Uh... Lord... I... Uh, the Grand Empress. I like that better. The Grand Empress. There we go. And we have access to this. We're keeping saying uh, we're going to go with uh, Continental World preset. Station. Yeah, we're going with the Corborn system. Uh, next. Reptilian City. Uh, government and Ethics. We're keeping the Divine Imperium. Uh, we are fanatically spiritualist. So that improves, improves our happiness. Uh, we need to keep the Militarists. And the Authoritarian influence for this. Uh, I want to keep isolationist. Uh, and this last one I put into individualist for because I can choose uh, uh, different uh, economic policies. I thought that would be interesting but I'm also looking at other uh, uh, 
things now that I have my uh, 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 ethic or my traits figured out. And I was looking at things that might be able to counter uh, some of the uh, uh, species unhappiness that I have. But it doesn't look like I will be able to do that. So I'm going to stick with individualist. I'm going to get rid of the modded feature in the back. Uh, flag, we're keeping the same. I really like that concept for the flag. Starting weapons. I'm going with energy weapons for starting. I'm sticking with hyperspace travel. I'm not too fond of the way the wormhole stuff is set up. I mean, I'm not sure. I've never played with it. I, I'll probably give it a shot uh, after I end this recording just so I know how wormholes work. You know what? I'll, I'll leave it here and see if I can figure out how wormholes work because the... Ooh. Fly. I tried to hit a fly and hit my microphone. I'm sorry. Uh... But I'll uh, uh, I'll take a look and see if the uh, if I can figure out wormholes easily. It should be fairly easy to figure out uh, other and if I like it or not. And if not, I'm gonna go with hyperspace. But if I like wormholes, I'll use it. Uh, and ship appearance, I've gone with mammalian ships so often that I think I'm gonna give the reptilian ships. A try. Uh, so, there is the Empire of the Eternal Wheel. Uh, we'll save. Okay. Uh, we're going to hit Done. And I did a tiny one, and I've done a huge one. I think 600 stars, we're going to go with that. For this playthrough. Uh, and if it slows down. It slows down. And tough luck. Uh, I'm not going to be doing it by decade. I'm going to be doing it based on how long my time is. I'm going to approach it differently. Uh, I want more fallen empires. Honestly. Uh, advanced start AIs. Four is fine. Uh, AI Empires, if I do that, yeah, 16, Aggressive Normal, Normal, uh, FTL, any, Clustered Starts, off, I don't like Clustered Starts, Advanced Neighbors, uh, this controls whether Empires with Advanced AI Starts are permitted to spawn near a player, uh, Having this on may result in... Le okay. Off. In-game crisis on Iron Man off. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start. And s this is just a test run. This is just a test run. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! We won! Okay. So that mod with the uh, uh, these messed me up. Okay, I'm gonna hit continue. We've won, but I wanted to check and make sure the this world was working. We have our ring world. This is Sangdala tomb world. Uh, what do we have back here? Uh, wormhole station. All right. Now, how 
How do with wormhole stations work? Move here. Okay. So, to move from one station to the next, or one system to the next, you kind of have to... You need to send a... Have a, uh, uh, a wormhole station, because this bores a hole from here to there, I guess. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Let's see if this works the way I'm... Or does a wormhole station mean I can leave and come back to this but can't... Okay, it's opening a wormhole. Here is trying to go through the wormhole. Okay, and apparently Okay. So, this just create, if it's going to and from, okay. I'd never used wormhole before, so that answers my question. The fact that the ship was able to run away and come back, that works. So, um, like I, I guess I need to go and try and figure out, take a look at that drag shot mod. Uh... Exit to desktop. Exit game. Alright. So apparently there's an issue with the Dragsha mod. So let's go down and we'll we'll use Skarvod's uh, additional mods. I really did like the uh, trait codex, but it's not set up. I mean, yet another trait mod. I mean, yeah, it's a little out of date. Um, so is that one. Uh, that one's a little out of date, but there, uh, there's two. Where are you? Uh, somebody created a combined mod that covers that. But yeah. Let's see how I like this other trait mod. Yay. New game. Uh, all right. We'll edit you. We need to go to traits. And we have. I'm not seeing anything new. Okay, down here. Um. Luxurious. Okay, creative. Opinionated. <laughs> Egoistic. Uh, altruistic. Okay, those are some interesting... Um, 
new mods or new things. Okay. Well, ideally, I'd like to get enduring if I can't do anything else. So, slow breeders, slow learners. Uh, okay. I don't want weak. That's fine. That one's fine. Now we can get venerable. Um, okay. Habitability. Leader lifespan, negative 20 years. Okay. Cyborgs. Creative. Opinionated. Egoistic. Hmm. No. That would be true, however. So we'll go with that setup. It's not as good. But it, I also feel it's not as broken. I'm going to go with hyperspace. I didn't like the... The wormhole. I didn't like the feel of it. Um, done. Okay, so I lost my settings. I had 16 of these. And 4 fallen. And we're going to hit... I kind of want to increase this. There we go. We're going to turn clustered starts off. Advanced neighbors off. Uh, hit play. Make sure everything works. I don't instantly win. And I think, let's make, sh oh, I screwed that up. I screwed that up. I wanted a spiral. <sighs> Actually, that's not too bad. I think I'll leave it like this. This is a different. I usually play spirals. Let's play something different. This works. This works. Uh, so... Yeah, I like this. I like this. So this is going to be our start. Um, so, let's take a look. Not at that, but over who? Yeah, where'd you put that? Right here. Not that one. Uh, that one. Okay, so I can ditch... Can't remove last design. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Can't remove last design. Interesting. Okay. Well. Uh, I do kind of. I do like the look of them. They're about the same. But they are more aggressive. So. I think we're going to keep. Oh that looks cool. That looks like an ocean liner. Uh, eh, not as, I don't like that one as much as I like the, the science ship for the mammalians. Eh, the Corvette's not bad looking, though. So, what I'm going to be doing is, well, taking off from here when the series starts. I'm going to save this. 
save. Uh, yub tub. Yub tub. Save. All right. And I'm going to leave it here. Um, I hope this has gotten y'all uh, enthused about the upcoming uh, series, which I am actually going to put the first episode out tomorrow. Uh, so, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, go ahead, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I will see you next time. Until then, bye bye